At the start of the movie we see a space station called Athena 1. This space station belongs to a company called Energen, which used to take the genes of different animals and experiment on them for mutation. Meanwhile we see a scientist named Carrie. These people are doing some research on a rat and start experimenting on it. But the experiment goes horribly wrong and the rat turns into a giant creature. The creature kills all the scientists but Carrie survives, and she sneaks up in the space shuttle so she can get to the Earth. But its door is locked so she contacts her headquarters on Earth, and she talks to the owner of the company, Claire, and tells everything and says that she has to come to Earth. Claire agrees but in return asks her to bring three samples of the experiment from the lab. Now Carrie also goes back to the lab and brings the sample, after which Claire gives her access to the space shuttle. She quickly gets into the space shuttle and separates herself from the main shuttle, and the shuttle enters into Earth's orbit. But soon the main station gets a huge blast and the entire lab get destroyed. This also affects Carrie's space shuttle and it is also destroyed. In the second place we see Davis who was a former US special officer, and now he was at the San Diego Wildlife Sanctuary to train the animals. He had a very rare species of gorilla which was white in color. Among them we see George's gorilla who is a very good friend of Davis. Davis often speaks to him in sign language and the two share a close friendship. A lot of people came here to see George's performance and he made them laugh a lot. In the meantime, we see Carrie's space shuttle, which crashes on Earth shortly after being in orbit, and the three sample boxes that she had taken fall in separate places. The first box falls into the water and a crocodile becomes infected. Meanwhile the virus from the second box falls in front of a wolf in the forest and the wolf is also infected with the virus. The third box falls in front of George's and he too is infected and starts scream loudly, because there were sudden changes in his body. The next morning, Davis finds one of the sanctuary's gorillas dead, he goes to see George, he is surprised to see George because he has grown so big, Davis is quite confused as to what happened to George in one day, that's why he starts going towards the forest, while going to the forest, he finds the same box from which the virus was released, on the other hand we see Claire and her brother Brett, the owner of the company, they are furious when they find out that the shuttle has crashed, then Claire says that we'll go to the crash side of the shuttle and that's where we can get those samples, after which they send one of their team into the forest, then we see Dr. Kate, who happens to be the main scientist at Claire's company and a very good friend of Davis. She finds out about Crash Side. Meanwhile, she also gets a call from Davis that George's condition has suddenly worsened and he has increased in size. So Kate realizes that it must be the effect of the virus. That's why she goes to see George. Then Dr. Kate comes to Davis and explains that whatever changes are happening inside him are caused by a virus, because this virus had DNA samples from different animals. Soon George will start to change even more. Eventually he will grow up and lose control of his own mind. He will become very aggressive and start hitting people. Then we see George, who is really getting out of control, and breaks out of his cage and starts running away. Davis follows him. Seeing such a big George here, there is a stampede in the whole city. Then the police come there to shoot George. But Davis requests to police that no one will hurt George. I calm him down by talking. Now the police also agrees. But then another team arrives from the helicopter and fires anesthetic bullets at George, due to which he falls down unconscious. On the other side Claire's team finds a container in the woods, Claire and Brett were watching their team live, then they see huge wolf footprints there, but by then it was too late and as soon as they saw it, a huge wolf came and attacked them. All the people get scared and one by one the wolf kills them all. Then some people attack the wolf from helicopter, but that wolf climbs over a mountain and attacks their helicopter and destroys it. Elsewhere we see CIA officer Harvey who is about to take George with him. But just then Davis arrives and requests Harvey to take him and Kate along with them. Now Harvey agrees. On the way, Harvey tells Kate that what happened to the gorilla is the same thing happening to the other wolf in the forest. He is also very aggressive and growing in size, but Kate says nothing. Then we see Brett who is pretty worried after all of this, and tells Claire how we got the virus out of the gorilla's body now that the CIA is taking him. But Claire says we have nothing to fear, the gorilla will come to us himself, and she takes Brett to the roof of the lab and shows him a tower saying it's a radiation tower, as soon as I activate his radiation, all these animals will be drawn to it, and she activates the radiation tower, and all the animals in their place get pretty out of control and move towards the city tower, then we see of George who slowly starts getting out of control, and he starts vandalizing the plane, then Kate says that maybe these people have activated the radiation tower, now George starts destroying everything and killing everyone on the plane, Davis and Kate are badly injured, while Harvey is fainted, and the plane was going to crash too, that's why Davis gives everyone a parachute, and he takes Harvey himself down with him, and suddenly the plane crashes, but George doesn't even get a scratch in it and he starts running from there towards the tower, but now Davis was also very angry after seeing all this, and he says to Kate that you people are not human but animals, how can you do such experiments on animals, but then Kate apologizes to him and says that I didn't do it on my own, I was pretty blackmailed by Claire and my brother was in the hospital, I had to save his life too, that's why I had to do this under compulsion, but bad deeds lead to bad results, that's why my brother has also left this world, 
she further explains that, realizing the disaster of this virus, she had already started building an antidote, and it was successful, that antidote is in the lab under the same tower of Claire's main office, that is why they had to reach this lab now, on the other hand we see Claire and Brett in their lab as the FBI has arrived. Seeing this, Claire and Brett realize that they will be caught, that's why they start preparing to run away from there, so here at the other place where Davis, Kate and Harvey were, the military people arrive, and they show the video of the animals to Davis saying that they have ruined the whole city, so we have to kill them soon, then Davis and Kate try to convince them to not kill the animals, but the military doesn't listen to them and they arrest Kate and Davis, Kate then tells Davis that if the military gets there first, they will kill George, that's why we should apply the antidote on it beforehand, hearing this, Davis starts killing the military men and then Harvey also comes there, and all three of them go out with a military helicopter while hiding, that military also sends its second team to kill the animals, but it was not so easy to kill all three of them, because the animals were killing all the people the military was sending there, because none of the bullets were affecting them, and soon the whole city is destroyed, that is why the remaining people start leaving the city, all this was going on, then suddenly the water of the sea started to move very fast, and now, suddenly, the crocodile comes from the water, which has completely transformed into a creature, by then, Davis also reaches there and seeing all this, he is also quite scared as to what is happening, now Crocodile, George and Wolf all three start causing havoc in the whole city, here, a lot of military personnel fire at these three, but the three also start to more out of control, they start killing as many people in military, also start destroying everything, on the other side we see Davis and Kate in the lab, and after finding enough, they finally found antidote, Davis then asks Kate what the ultimate purpose of such research is, she then explains that Claire wanted to create a weapon that no one could compete with, with their help, Claire wanted to take over the entire government, so in the same lab we see Claire who sees Kate and Davis through cameras, and she realizes that Kate is here to take antidote, that's why she goes there and shoots Davis first and then leaves with the antidote and Kate, after they leave we see that Davis still alive, by then, Claire is about to run away with Kate, but then George gets on top of the tower and starts to destroy the radiation tower, at the same time, the helicopter was about to crash on Kate but then Davis saves her, and after seeing all these things, Claire's brother Brett is very scared, and he starts coming down leaving his sister there, Kate then tells Davis that she still has the antidote, now Davis says that you hide the antidote in Claire's bag, after hearing this, Kate puts the antidote in Claire's bag and they both go into hiding, and George, who is enraged, grabs Claire and eats her, along with Claire, he also eats her bag, that's why the antidote goes into his body. Just then, Brett is running down the lab, but then Harvey grabs him and tells him that if you want to escape, give me the files of all the company's experiments, now Brett gives him access to all the files, then we see both the wolf and the alligator coming to destroy the radiation tower on top of the building, so Davis puts Kate in helicopter and starts running away from here, by then, the whole building is destroyed and all the creatures fall down, then Davis notices that George is slowly regaining consciousness and that the virus's effect on him is also diminishing, then he goes to talk to him, and George also replies to him, that is, he was understanding his words, then Davis tells him that now we have to save the whole city, because the whole city is going to be destroyed because of these two animals, that is, George is not like the other two animals who want to destroy the city, and now he has to fight both of them, now George agrees to this, then the wolf and the crocodile come, and the three of them start a fierce fight, but the crocodile was powerful enough and he kills the wolf, now George starts fighting with the crocodile and they have a big fight, but that crocodile starts to make George weak, Davis sees that George is about to die, then Davis attacks the crocodile and throws a bomb at him, by which the crocodile gets distracted, seeing this opportunity, George inserts a large rod into his body, due to which the crocodile is very injured and finally killed, but George was also injured here, that's why he is also killed, now seeing this, Davis completely breaks down and starts feeling sad, and he starts to think that his friend has been killed today because of human mistakes, then Kate and Harvey also come there, but suddenly George's hand starts moving, seeing this, Davis stops and after a while George regains consciousness, seeing this, Davis asks if you were faking death, to see what I would do if you didn't live, George says yes, seeing you crying, I couldn't stop laughing, that's why I got up, everyone starts laughing and the movie ends with that, if you like this video please hit the subscribe button.